before Dan Tosterson, there was a grudging, almost grudging acceptance of education as a discipline, but the 90% of the focus of the school was on research. Tosterson changed that and really brought an emphasis on education and on learning. Students feel welcome, students feel empowered, students feel actually thrilled to be here and to have their career take place where there's such an emphasis on their learning. Well, the biggest thing in changing is gender. When I came, there were uh, five or six women in a class. Now half the class are women. And it's not by policy. It just reflects the pool of applicants are about half women. And it ends up the class reflects that. Second biggest thing at that level is the program in affirmative action, which began in 1969. After the death of Martin Luther King by assassination, four faculty members came to the faculty in this room and recommended that Harvard begin to attract um, African American and later other minority students to enter the school. Third, a historic moment cooperation between Harvard Medical School and MIT. In the early 70s, a visiting professor from New York suggested that Harvard and MIT work together. The clinical and historical emphasis on medicine from Harvard, but the emphasis on engineering and research from MIT. And suddenly, over three years, the school went from an entering class of 125 to 165. That's where it's been since then. Is it still a fantastic place to learn to be a doctor? Absolutely. Are we teaching the same things they learned when they're here? Not a bit, there's been too much change. But are we teaching the same values the same respect for the individual human being, the same respect for patient choice, absolutely. So now we are watching an emergence of excitement in science, in education, in giving to young people. I find it just extraordinary to picture what may be coming as a result.